Um, we got a lot more experience this year. We got stronger, and yeah. <laughs> Coach said, I think 17 starters back. So, what did you guys learn last season to that you can you can apply this season that'll make you a better overall team? Uh, last year we had a lot of missed errors and stuff, and this year we kind of cracked down on it. And our offensive line knows what they're doing, and our quarterback knows how to throw the ball better, and our receivers are catching better too. Yeah, tell me about this offense. You guys have uh, no shortage of skill position players. So, what excites you offensively, knowing that? Hey, man, they can't really key on one guy. Um, AJ Restivo is looking really good during practices. He can throw the ball really good up on, on target, and our receiver core is really deep, and we should be really good at that area. And our running backs look good, too. Yeah, as far as this offense, what, what are some of the tangible things? What are some of the things that you see you guys are going to be better at this year? Our pass game, for sure. Like last year, we, we ran the ball pretty much every play, barely passed. But I think this year we'll throw a lot more. Um, final question for me. What is it uh, that's a goal for? Leo? <coughs> Excuse me. What is it that's a goal for Leo heading into this season? I mean, last year wasn't a bad season, but you guys want to be in in the discussion for a conference championship and a sectional championship each year. Last year was pretty devastating losses to East Noble and New Haven, which were really good teams. But this year we plan on getting back into the talk of conference champion and hopefully get to achieve it. We have uh, we're returning a lot of starters and uh, we have a lot of experience, so should be a pretty good year that way. Defensively, what do you take away from last year? What, what did the defense do well, not do well, that you guys can apply this season to be even better? Um, I would say uh, getting uh, the air game and stuff like that. The I would say getting more picks and stuff like that. We did decent at it towards the end of the second half of the season. And uh, I think if we improve on that, uh, stopping the air game and all that, What's been the focus defensively? If there's like one thing you guys are really focusing on, what is it? Um, I would say having a strong uh, line and uh, our middle linebacker. Um, we have a, we've gotten a lot stronger this year, so um, I think uh, our defensive line is going to help a lot. A final question for me, just tell me about the offense. What do you like about this team offensively? Because you have a lot of starters coming back on D, a lot on O. Uh, but really some dynamic playmakers that you guys have to set the table for up front. Well, our line uh, last year wasn't very good, but this year uh, we all know each other and we're all closer friends. And um, we've been able to get off the ball faster and uh, get more plays moving. So. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No. All right. Yeah, well, last season we had a rough ending to it. Um, so this year we're all about correcting those mistakes we made because we made a lot of mental errors. I think it was more mental than anything else. Um, we got in the weight room a lot more. So about correcting those errors and fix them. Hopefully we can get it right for the season. When you take a look at, at this team, um, what excites you about what you guys have coming back here in 2017? Yeah, we're returning like 17 out of 22 starters, I believe. Um, so that's awesome. Ton of experience. We were really young last year. That's where a lot of those mental errors came from. So we're experienced and we're ready to go. When you take a look at this Leo program, I was talking about it with Coach, I think it's 10 straight consecutive winning seasons. <coughs> Last year, obviously, another winning season, but you, you didn't get to the level that you attained to, conference championship, sectional championship. How hungry does that, does that feed this team? How hungry does that make this team as you enter the season? Yeah, you know, 7-3 and three for Leo, that's not where we want to be. Uh, for some schools, that might be really good, but for Leo, it's not. Uh, so we're hungry to get back out there. Uh, and, kind of do a lot better than last year because first round of sectionals, uh, we want to make a lot further than that. We want to make a state run. Um, final question for me, you know, uh, two years ago you guys had a great team. Uh, you were a sophomore then, all the seniors now are sophomores. Um, what do you guys have to do to attain kind of that level of success now? That you, I mean, you've seen that it can be done here at Leo. Yeah, I'm um, looking at that senior class we had as sophomores. We had Craig Kloffenstein, Ty, uh, Tyler Hensinger. Uh, they were great leaders. So. For us, uh, as seniors, we got to be leaders for those younger kids and set an example for them because eventually they're going to inherit our role. Um, we want them to set a good example for those younger kids. So that's the main thing. Well, final question for me, as a, as a kicker, as a punter, where are you trying to make strides in your game? And then also, uh, where have you progressed the most during your time here at Leo to get to the level that you're at, like an all-state type level? Yeah, uh, I wasn't much of a punter coming in as a freshman. Uh, I really didn't punt at all. and. They just threw me in there halfway through my freshman year and said, hey, Ben, go punt. Uh, so that's something I've worked on a lot. And then obviously came in as a young, short kid, really light. I really hit the weight room hard. Uh, it's getting a lot stronger. So just being able to put that ball further in the end zone for, my, for the kickoff team. All right. Like our experience coming back, uh, we have a lot of guys from, from returning starters from last year. 
Um, you know, defensively we have 10, um, offensively we have seven. So like the experience, I think so far things have, um, the pace has been much better in terms of our guys uh, making their assignments and, and just everything has been more efficient uh, these first couple weeks. So excited about that and seeing uh, obviously tomorrow night where we're going to be um, when we get on the field. Yeah. Knowing that a lot of these guys played last year as, as sophomores and juniors, what do they take away from that experience on Friday nights that they can apply this time around considering, you, I think you just said, 17 starters back? Right. Well, um, you know, I think a big thing is just understanding game speed and what's like on a Friday night. You know, last year we had several sophomores on the field, we had a freshman on the field, and it's hard for them to understand how fast the game is and how physical the game is. And I think it it's, gives them a confidence boost knowing uh, week one, that they know what a, what a Friday night's like. They know how fast the game is and how physical it is. And so their confidence is up, and they, they play like it, and they practice with a lot of confidence, and uh, that makes them better football players. Let's start on offense. What do you like about this team offensively, and where are some of the skill position groups that you like, and who are some of the guys who are going to be taking bigger roles on Friday? Oh, we'll start, start with our quarterback, A.J. Restivo. You know, has a year under his belt. I uh, really like what we've seen from him so far. I uh, had a great summer, um, great two weeks here. Um, receiving core, really like the, some of the skill kids. Probably the most improved group that we have will be our receivers with uh, uh, Trent Bonner and Jason Gosback, and then Colton Grohovic as well. Um, a young sophomore uh, named Peyton McHale, Jack Kirsten. Um, so we, we, we feel like we have some depth at receiver. I uh, like what they've been doing. Um, uh, defensively, um, our, like I said, we have 10 out of 11 back, but D-line. Uh, has a lot of experience. Isaac Berghoff and uh, Gavin Heber and Max Minnick up front. And then we have three linebackers who started as well. So I um, really like kind of our front seven uh, defensively. Final question, if there's one point of emphasis between now and, and August 18th, what is it for Leo? Yeah, for us, it's, it's uh, uh, playing physical. You know, we, we feel like we weren't as physical as we should have been uh, last year or we could have been. And so we, we've been working on that and we talked to our kids about how, how we want to be uh, a very physical football team and get back to playing a little bit of uh, more Leo style football. Um, we, were, we were missing that last year and it's been a major point of improvement that we've want to kind of take into uh, this season.